just going to run through now and actually connect this account to zero. It's exactly the same process if you're using MYOB, um, but I want to show you how this works. So if you're using Xero or MYOB, when you first get your Card and Cloud application, what you want to do is connect Card and Cloud to that so that you can start to send your invoices into either Xero or MYOB. It's really straightforward. You literally just click the button. So if I click connect to Xero, um, this loads up a link with Xero. Now I'm, I'm logged into Xero in another tab. If I go to Xero.com, uh, I'm loaded into just this test account. It's called Card and Cloud Test. It's just a, a dummy that we use for testing things. Because I'm already logged in, Xero can straight away say, hey, Card and Cloud would like to access your Card and Cloud Test Xero account. Um, do you want to allow it? If, if you're logged into a Xero account which has access to multiple Xero organizations, it actually brings up a drop-down box in here and lets you select which of your um, zero organizations you want to allow access to. So I'm going to say, yep, I want to allow access to that. And then what that does is that connects Card and Cloud to your zero account, and then it brings you back to Card and Cloud so that you can go in and configure your, your chart of accounts. So I'm just going to show you this really quickly. If I now I've got this zero connection here, if I click modify settings, first of all, I can rename it. So if I might want to call it, I don't know, Card and Cloud test. And then I can link my different, different types of, of income generated in Card and Cloud to the different chart of accounts within Xero. So these, these names and numbers here are, are my chart of accounts in Xero. I've got an income type for, um, I actually don't have a banking income type, so I'm just gonna call that other revenue. Fuel levy income, I've got a fuel levy income uh, chart of account or account within Xero. Freight income, I'm gonna link that to freight income. Pick and pack income, I'm going to link that storage income. So by doing this, what I'm doing is that when I now create an invoice and send it to zero, when it's got different parts of that invoice, such as this much for freight, this much for storage, this much for picking and packing, it's going to load it straight under those different account codes within zero. So that rather than it all just going through into a big blob of other revenue, I can still use zero's reporting tools to understand where I'm collecting revenue from. You know, how much am I actually making out of freight versus pick and pack and storage? So save that. And that just links all that together. The next step that we're gonna do is, is go through and actually connect a, a customer to zero. So if I go into my customers, I've done the link of the whole account, linking um, my card and cloud account to zero, but now I need to tell each of these customers, such as salmon distributors and Whole Foods, who they are in Xero. So if I click into Salmon Distributors and click on Edit down here, under this Invoice tab, and then I can go to, there's actually, there's a sub tabs here. One's called Accounting Connector. If I go there, that brings up all the options to do with Xero. The first thing I wanna do is tell it to use the Card and Cloud Test. Um, I want it to, to connect this customer to my Card and Cloud Test account. Click Save. And it's a two-step process. I go back into the same screen and now in here, I've got a whole lot of new options around how do I want this customer uh, to link to Xero. So the first thing I need to do is tell it which, which contact it is within Xero, because Xero has their, their own list of contacts that you need to, to, to link up with your contacts in Card and Cloud. So I'm going to search for uh, Salmon Distributors. I don't have a Salmon Distributors company in my Xero yet. I haven't created them. So it's really easy. You click this button create a new contact in Xero, that constructs Salmon Distributors in Xero. So if I actually jump over to Xero now and search, I should be able to see that I've got a company. Yeah, maybe it hasn't searched it yet. But I should have a company in here called Salmon Distributors. Still not showing up. I'm not sure why it hasn't shown up in there yet. Maybe they've got a little bit of a delay between searching. But back on here, it's created that new contact in Xero. I can then specify as well, when I'm uploading invoices to Xero for this customer, do I want them to go in as draft? Do I want them to go in as approved? Um, what do I want the due days to be? So I want them to be seven days after the invoice or do I want it to be the 20th of the following month, et cetera, et cetera. How do I want the reference to look when I upload it? So these things in here are different tags, where in Card and Cloud we replace those, 
those tags inside the curly brackets with actual data out of the particular invoice that you're uploading. And then lastly, if for some reason I need to override the way in which this customer uses my chart of accounts, I can do that within here. So by default, they use whatever you've set up when you first connected your zero. However, if I wanted, say, my salmon distributor's freight income to go into a very particular account, like, um, I don't know, let's just say that I wanted to put that against just sales for some reason, I can do that in here and override it and click save. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna leave it on default and click save. So that's now linked that client with zero. Obviously that takes a little bit of time to do that. So what we've built as a tool, if you go into your customers, there's an option up here, more bulk link customers to Card and Cloud test. Um, and this is really good if you've got, if you've imported say, I don't know, 50 to 100 or even a several thousand different companies into your Card and Cloud account and you wanna link them all up really quickly. This brings up a screen and what happens here is it automatically searches when this page loads for a match within Xero. So if there was someone in Xero called uh, Whole Foods, it would have linked this up already as a suggested cu customer to link to. I don't have a Whole Foods yet, so I'm just gonna click create a new contact in Xero that will generate that. I've got Whole Foods, draft is fine. Um, I want it to be seven days after invoicing and click save. So that's a, a really speedy way to link everybody up once you know what you're doing. So again, if you're trying to look for that option, it shows up under more in the, in the customers section, bulk link customers to Card and Cloud, uh, to Card and Cloud test. Your own zero would show up here, depending on what you've called it. Cool, so I've got my two different companies and I can tell which ones are connected because they've got this little zero logo next to them showing that this customer has been linked to zero.